So, I don't know if it's natural or cultural. Natural meaning um, it's a natural human thing and it's cultural for everybody else or if it's cultural for everybody. But my revulsion, the two things that I'm absolutely naturally feel reviled by almost with a a hatefulness like a like a snake coiling around a baby you know that just visceral reaction that you get is um the uh late term abortion and cremation just a um just a gut from just from your spine, from your organs, from your liver reaction. Now, <clears throat> Hindus probably don't have this because they do cremation and they see it as a way of liberating the spirit. Um, Zoroastrians do excarnation, which they believe liberates the spirit and does not contaminate the earth, water, um, fire, the sacred things to them. <clears throat> You know, um, so the vultures take them away into the heavens. <clears throat> a group of Tibetans also does what's uh, excarnation or sky burials. But here's a graveyard. And this is also part of what I want to talk about is that I think graveyards are beautiful because it's a, it's a history book. So it's, it's a physical history book. Now this was farmland or forest when this town first started and the town's center was somewhere over there and then probably all this was already into farm area even though it's a quarter mile that way is downtown and the cemetery was here and then the town grew up around it because there's people who fought here in the civil war and you i could tell it's the civil war because of the the dates and because it says like the first illinois regiment or the second missouri or whatever but um, a lot of people here have lived for a hundred years, and with cremation, you don't get that. Cremation just wipes the people out of existence. And their bones won't sit in the ground for eternity and become... And that's also because I love archaeology, too. When you bury yourself, when you're, you're buried and you bury your family and friends, all of, all of the future can learn just from your bones, just from the things that are put in it, put in the casket. Obviously, I, I was very irritated at my sister's wake when at the end of the wake, the, the uh, funeral director took the rosary off of my sister's hands and gave it to my mom. And we said, no, 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 my, my nephew took his rosary that was very expensive and wrapped it around my sister's hands. And I also, me and him also signed the back of an icon and put it in there so it'll be with her. I believe people should be buried with objects. That's how our ancestors did it. That's how we should do it. Um, and also, I don't believe in desecrating a graveyard. The uh, Islamic State and various Muslim countries, many, almost every Muslim country, believes in desecrating graveyards. But what's peculiar to Christianity, especially, is unwillingness to desecrate a graveyard. Um, I believe the Jews do this too because it's a, uh, to desecrate a grave or a, a dead body, that dead body is, still has some, even though God is not a man and does not take any physical form, there's still some retention of the mystery of God and the image of God, even in that dead flesh and bones. And also the idea of do not disturb a grave. See, there's World War One. That man almost lived to be 100. 1860, people were born, but there's some from the 1830s. And then the Illinois, you know, regiment, this or that. But I'm back from the old, and you can see where we were first at was the older cemetery, and then we move on to newer things. Although when things are carved in granite, they can be over 100 years old and they look brand new. And there's ones that are 
put in, but you can even tell from the type of stone that was used from when we were in style when we first started out to the more the newer ones and then the ones through the ages. Look at the ones from about uh, 30 years ago leading up all the way to um, modern day. So I think graveyards are extremely important and that uh, cremation is not only just a terrible thing that gets me right in the bones but also a terrible thing for history for family and for lineage and here is a very modern tombstone it's a piece of our history peace to you may god save serbia syria and ireland